So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about Drayton Manor and their brand new rebrand as well as their new name. I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on the future of Drayton Manor and also the direction that the park is going down. So if you go on to find this video useful or you go on to like it, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So the park have announced their brand new rebrand. Um, the park advertised this with a uh, logo. They showed off their new logo um, and they showed um, what an advertisement would look like um, by um, showing an advertisement for Maelstrom. Um, and I have to say, it looks very sleek and modern. Um, it's a, a vast departure from the old branding the park used to use. Um, the logo looks completely different. And a lot of people have reacted negatively to this online. Um, I can understand because it's a massive departure, like I said, from the old branding. Um, but but um, after looking at it um, and getting used to it, um, I have to say I quite like it. Um, you can definitely tell the park is going towards that family audience um, with this branding now. It's very kiddie, but like I say, it's also very modern and sleek. As well as this, the park announced a brand new name. They've rebranded themselves from Drayton Manor Theme Park to Drayton Manor Resort. This has been a trend that's been going on across the UK with a lot of parks. Um, but I have to say, I don't get why they've rebranded to a resort apart from uh, marketing purposes. I guess it's a lot more marketable. But in my opinion, Drayton Manor just doesn't have enough on site to warrant the, um, the resort name. Yes, they've got a hotel, but in my opinion, a resort um, is um, Alton Towers um, really with which has a spa um, it has multiple hotels a water park and a mini golf course again I just don't believe that Drayton Manor warrants that um, that resort name but hey ho um, we have that now now um, I believe that this rebrand is much more significant than people are making it out to be um, for me personally um, this rebrand marks the end of the old Drayton Manor now what do I mean by the old Drayton Manor I mean the Bryant's family era of Drayton Manor because if you didn't know before the looping group took over um, Drayton Manor after it went into administration the park was owned by the Bryant's family um, and they installed um, a lot of attractions. They had it since day one, really. Um, they installed Apocalypse, the Rapids. Um, they've you know, everything that's there now was basically um, installed um, during the Bryant's family era. Um, you look at the Looping Group era um, and they installed things like the um, Adventure Cove, um, which saw a re-theme of uh, Shockwave. They installed a brand new Wave Swinger. They reopened the rapids um, as the Adventure Cove River Rapids. Um, and they also um, just incorporated... Um, um, a, a air race into that area a bit more. This year, um, the Looping Group are opening the new Vikings themed area, which will include a new soundtrack, um, a handful of new rides, um, and it will brighten that area of the park up a bit because that was previously unused land. So like I say, you can definitely tell that Drayton Manor are moving forward with this family first direction, which they said they were going to go towards um, when the Looping Group took over Drayton Manor in 2021. Um, they also appointed a new CEO, um, Victoria, um, and they released a statement um, in regards to the rebrand, and this is what they had to say. With a new managing director, Victoria Lynn, at the helm, Drayton Manor has unveiled a new look for its much-loved brand, with a vibrant transformation that reflects ambitious future plans and a new era for the family destination. Bringing together its shared vision to be a place for fun and excitement through immersive experiences that can be enjoyed by all, the resort has revealed revealed a brand new logo alongside reimagined values that demonstrate the evolution of the resort and its offering. The new logo mirrors the resort's commitment to bring everyone together for unforgettable experiences that start and end with fun, while remaining true to the company's original colours, but at the same time adding extra ingredients of being perfectly imperfect to convey movement and motion. Its reimagined values demonstrate the culture and redefined purpose of the brand and include the importance of being warm-hearted, inclusive, authentic in approach, while ensuring a vibrant and energetic environment where everyone can connect and thrive. Sustainability and conservation efforts are also intrinsic to the values, and the resort has pledged to respect the natural environment, consistently working towards reducing waste, increasing energy efficiency, protecting green spaces and promoting animal conservation. 
The resort, which attracts 1 million visitors each year and is home to over 100 rides and attractions, Europe's only Thomasland, a 15-acre conservation zoo and four-star hotel, is fast expanding its offering with the opening of its highly anticipated Viking-themed area set for this spring. With new rides and attractions that will appeal to family thrill seekers of all ages, alongside themed rooms at the Drayton Manor Hotel, Vikings has sent the UK into a fury of excitement since its announcement and follows the success of the nautical themed zone Adventure Cove which opened last summer. The new logo and brand values signal a change in direction for the future of the resort as it continues to expand its offering to cater to the family thrill market and provide unforgettable immersive experiences for guests of all ages. The resort was formerly family run and managed over a 70 year period until it was purchased by the Looping Group in 2020, a European company operating 16 leisure parks across the UK, France, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Germany, Spain and Portugal. New Managing Director Victoria Lin, who joined the team in April with over 22 years industry experience spanning world class attractions within the UAE, will be instrumental in delivering Looping Group's vision for the future of the resort as it continues to reinvest in improving its offering, affirming its position as one of the leading leisure destinations in the UK. Victoria Lynn said, The future of Drayton Manor Resort is certainly bright and I am delighted to be joining such an incredibly talented team at a pivotal time of growth and positive change for the brand, whilst ensuring they continue to feel inspired and motivated to deliver the best possible experience for guests. The relaunch of the brand has been in the works for a long time, and so much thought, care and meticulous planning has gone into creating our new logo and values, which really bring to life who we are and why we exist, alongside solidifying our core principles and attitudes towards the care of our guests and the sustainability of our business operations. It also frames the future direction of the resort perfectly, with a shift in focus over the coming years to capture a more diverse family thrill audience with new rides, attractions and immersive experiences that cater to guests of all ages. I look forward to working closely with the team to continue driving growth and development of an already exceptional family destination with a shared vision of creating unforgettable memories to be shared and relived. So that statement just re-embeds what I'm saying then. The park even got a new slogan, fun for everyone. Um, so they really are going towards that family first audience. Um, and I have to say, personally, I am all here for it. Um, in regards to the rebrand, yes, it's a major departure from what we had before. Um, but um, like I say, I'm, I, I got used to it pretty quickly. Um, and I really do like that modern styling. Um, but I can see why some people are upset by it. Um, we do need to accept though, the park needs to move forward, to grow, to expand, to get new um, audiences in the park. Um, and I have to say, if they keep installing things like Adventure Cove, um, like the new Viking themed area, um, then, um, you know, I'm all for it. I'm really excited for the future of Drayton Manor. Next year, we should see the park break ground for their brand new roller coaster. Um, the park is just continuing to grow um, and I'm really, really excited for it. Um, the park are going to continue to um, remove rides like Apocalypse. Um, sadly, I do believe that is in a sorry state of affairs at the moment. They've only got two drop towers running. Um, it's going to cost money to completely renovate the ride. Um, yes, they could keep it open with that family um, first direction which they're going down um, because the sit down drop tower is actually a, only a 1.2 um, high meter rating, which means that kids could ride that ride if they wanted to. Um, but again, due to the state that Apocalypse is in, it's got to close. Um, but if the park keep investing in high quality um, attractions, then I'm all here for it personally. Um, and I embrace this rebrand because, I, again, I do believe that the park needs to move forward. So, guys, that's been me talking about the um, rebrand of Drayton Manor and the new name and my thoughts and opinions on that. If you've got your own thoughts and opinions, please do leave them down in the comment section below. I know quite a lot of you will have quite a a lot to say about this um 
Again, it took me um, a, a bit of time to get used to it, but the more and more I looked at the website, the more and more I looked at the branding, and the more and more I got used to it. Again, we need to embrace um, the park, needs to move forward, um, and needs to appeal to newer audiences, and this is exactly um, what they're doing. So again, please do let me know what you think um, of this down in the comment section below. You're gonna want it to be subscribed because we have got a trip to Port Ventura coming up in a couple of days, and I couldn't be more excited. Um, there'll be three videos from that um, so there'll be the travel vlog there will be a um, a vlog from Ferrari World and there'll also be a vlog from Port Ventura itself so again guys please do subscribe so you don't miss that so guys I've been Ryan from Icosa and I shall see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>